One thing that gets stale is hearing skeptics parrot the statement, if the Gospels were written by eyewitnesses, why didn't they write their names in the documents like other New Testament books? Well, there's a few things to consider here. First of all, this demonstrates a lack of understanding of first century biographies. Compare this to sections of Xenophon or Josephus who did the same thing in sections of the writings. It also fails to investigate the distribution of these letters. That is to say that the writer, the assigned carrier, and the respective recipient wouldn't have been clueless as to who wrote these books. The chain of custody was not anonymous to any of the three who sent, carried, or received these writings. Second, the New Testament is full of letters that contain apostolic names, yet they're still rejected by the same skeptics. I'm pretty sure that if they wrote their names inside the body of the writing, they'd still dismiss the authors just as they do with James, Jude, Peter, John, and some of Paul's writings. The attestation of authorship is significant and early and geographically diverse. It comes from every quarter of the Roman Empire. That includes Tertullian of Carthage, Clement in Alexandria, Irenaeus in France, Papias in Asia Minor, and there is no rival tradition of authorship for any of the four Gospels. The bottom line is that there is no recorded challenge to the traditional authorship of the Gospels until around the 5th century by Faustus the Manichaean, and Augustine of Hippo had a very spicy response. He said, Why does no one doubt the genuineness of the books attributed to Hippocrates? Because there is a succession of testimonies of the books from the time of Hippocrates to the present day, which makes it unreasonable either now or hereafter to have any doubt of the subject. How do we know the authorship of the works of Plato, Aristotle, Cicero, Varro, and other similar writers, but by the unbroken chain of evidence?